Hey there, Robert. You know, I read quite a bit of gaming news from my Twitter feed to browsing the internet. I think I'm going to start a series um, to where it's basically like a recap of news that, you know, I find interesting or, you know, related to the games I play. So we're going to call this series the Backslash and Spec series to where, again, it's just a recap of game related news to games I'm playing or interested in. Um, I would really like to get a group discussion on it. Um, I mean, thoughts on it, I guess. But uh, for now, it's just going to be me. Uh, I think group discussion will maybe leave for something else. But I mean, more of like a, a quick recap of, you know, what happened this week or, you know, the past, you know, two weeks. Something. We'll, we'll figure something out. But basically, just jump right into it. We're going to go over the NVIDIA um, press conference that they had. They went over... I'm not going to go over everything. Gosh, there's quite a bit, especially with the cars. Um, we're going to go over mainly the GeForce, um, GeForce Now Cloud Gaming. Yeah. Um, of course, everyone was waiting for that Mass Effect gameplay, so we'll have that as well. Um, what else? We had the Astroneer update that's coming next week to all platforms. And then to finish it off, you know, we had a new map added to uh, Overwatch. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you in a little bit. So to recap real quick, I don't want to get too in-depth with it. Um, video is going to be playing in the background, and NVIDIA basically had their press conference at a CES uh, uh, event. And basically, they are aiming at people who are intimidated or do not have the peripherals to play PC gaming. So, in other words, they are creating this supercomputer in the cloud for people to pay a certain amount of money in order to play any game that, of course, they own. So, in other words, I can, I, from what I understood, I am able to go out and purchase like a $100 laptop, a $200 laptop, and as long as I pay this X amount of money, I can basically play any game. Now, I don't recall them getting into uh, settings, but I'm, I'm assuming, I mean, with a supercomputer, you're able to play at max settings. Um, I was watching this live, and people were <laughs> instantly spamming, you know, the latency. Like, how is that even going to be possible to stream that? And then, you know, I think it's a good idea. I mean, I have no issue with it. But, you know, after they got into the price, I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so the price is going to be $25 for 20 hours of gameplay. So you have to spend $20, $25 for 20 credits in a sense. So people did the math. I believe one, one website did it to where if you pay, if you play two hours a day, it's like $912 a year. And I was like, oh my gosh. You know, if you're going to spend... $912, you might as well just build your own gaming PC and then buy the games on sale through Steam. It, it, I don't know how it's going to be um, how it's going to be accepted once they release it here in March, but I just, I, I don't I don't know how or why. I mean, even the AIM, they're saying that these 2 billion people that are that are, you know, who have PCs but they're not in the gaming or they're afraid to get into gaming uh, via through PC. So, I mean, I even did math myself, you know, you know, an average gamer isn't going to play two hours a day. I mean, Monday through, Monday through Thursday, or maybe even Sunday, it depends. Um, you know, you may be playing two or three hours. So, for instance, I did myself. So, Monday through Thursday, I'll play about maybe two or three hours. And then Friday through Sunday, I may even play three or four. So, basically, I came up to it where it's like 22 hours um, a week I'm playing. And then I took that and I times it times it by 52 weeks in a year or 52 point whatever whatever because of that leap year it it throws things off but basically it's like it's over a thousand dollars in order for me to play games being streamed I mean I just I don't I don't know I don't want to get too into it I mean I've already spent a couple minutes already on it but you know gaming gaming streaming I just it's that price that kills it for me I don't. I don't know. I don't want to get specific. So basically, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> kind of blew me away. You're going to be able to stream games anywhere. Of course, you have to have an internet connection. Um, but yeah, the whole latency thing that people were saying, even the prices, it, it's crazy. But moving on. Okay, so moving on. Astroneer is going to be having an update coming out soon. I haven't been playing it in a while because. Gosh, it sucks when your car is flying away from me with all your resources on it. So I've been kind of holding off, waiting for it to be a little bit more optimized. Because the frame rate is just killing me. And the small little bugs like that is sucking. Um, recently they tweeted out on Xbox Windows 10. 
Uh, Steam Astroneers, our latest patch is queued up and ready for liftoff early next week. Fixes are inbound. So hopefully they'll fix that. And to touch on it, uh, they were even nice enough to respond to Mr. Sandman's here quote saying, you know, he said, yeah, hopefully some frame rate issues were touched on. I've been having some on Xbox One. And they respond nicely with, well, thank you, you'll be happy. So hopefully they fix it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You know, to go off, to continue off with the NVIDIA press conference, they also had Mass Effect gameplay. Everyone <laughs> was just screaming for it in the Twitch, in the Twitch stream. I think there was like 20,000 people watching it, and that's all they were wanting was some Mass Effect gameplay. Thinking, you know, they're going to get like five, ten minutes of gameplay, and lo and behold, we got, I think, like, <laughs> like, a, like two minutes. I mean, like a fourth of it was you watching the ship fly. Um, but me, honestly, seeing it, I was more impressed with that than I was with the one back in, uh, was it, number, November 7th gameplay that they had? Yeah, I, I don't know what it was. It just, it didn't look right. It just, it, I, I got like a Halo vibe personally from it when they go into the rover and it's just, it didn't, it didn't look right to me. Like something was not right. After watching this to be, I guess, maybe the vehicle I'm not comfortable with, but after seeing the um, basically more combat gameplay, it looked really good. I was like, wow, this is good. And I was like, keep going, keep going. And then it stopped. And the stream just erupted, like, that's it? That's it? That, that's all we're getting to see, like, you know, 30 seconds of combat? We got to see a little bit of the tech tree, so that's cool. But I was more interested just to see how it, you know, played out. And it looks a ton better from from what I see November 7th. I was more impressed with it. So I'm I'm looking forward to Mass Effect. And, of course, you know, I'm wanting to see how it plays out with uh, multiplayer, of course. The biggest thing that worries me, you know, they've mentioned, mentioned these booster packs for it. And it's just like, oh, great. Here we go. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, link is in the description. I think it'll be on my page. There should be no ads to it. It's it's, it's like a two-minute trailer. Why am I gameplay here? Why am I going to put an ad on that? That's ridiculous. Uh, we do things different here. <coughs> I can. So just to wrap things up here real quick, you know, I play Overwatch as well, and <laughs> competitive is so intense. It's so rough being in that. The gold platinum tier. Oh my gosh, it's so rough. But anyway, uh, I got the chance to play that Oasis. I do love that little jump pad that they have included now. Of course, the architecture that you know that Mesopotamian, Babylonian, Islamic type architecture. It's pretty, pretty beautiful looking. Um, all in all, I like it. It, it has its own unique appeal. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, that competitive <laughs> tier is so rough. Love the map, though. I mean, it's going to be quick. It's not going to be... A, I'm not going to go into an hour if I, you know, oh, they should have done this. But yeah, it's a new map for, you know, anyone interested in Overwatch. Um, So that's just going to wrap things up here, guys. You know, you know, I'll improve stuff here later on. I'll review it, see what I can do better. Maybe maybe write, uh, like, a full script or get more details. I don't, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but, you know, for the first time, you know, first episode, you know, things will change, things will improve. But um, again, guys, this is my backslash and spec series where we just basically do a recap of, you know, news that I'm interested in. Um, I would like to do a little bit more in-depth discussion about it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!